Yeah. For example, of uh, Namdekana in Nigeria here. A freedom fighter that has been leading the people or fighting for the people at Jesus and all of a sudden, the news of being arrested. Many people's hearts will fail. Why is belief in the resurrection reasonable? Another question. Why is believing in resurrection reasonable? As a believer, we can all begin to ask ourselves, why do I even believe in this resurrection? And why is it making meaning to me? Why did it make meaning to me? Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. It makes meaning because it brings back hope. You can imagine how miserable the disciples were when they heard that Jesus was arrested. Amen. Hallelujah. It's just like, for example, a freedom fighter. We have an example of uh, Namdekan in Nigeria here. A freedom fighter that has been leading the people or fighting for the people at Jesus and all of a sudden, the news of being arrested. Many people's hearts will fail. They will say, ah, hope we don't finish. Our master is already finished. What else? No more. We don't know what to do again. There is no hope for us. There's nowhere we, we have no hope anymore. The matter is finished. It is over. Because Jesus came and brought hope to humanity. Because people were sick. To extend that people's sickness has defied medical conditions. People's problems are defied. Many cities, they have tried everything to have hope on the face of the earth. There was no hope and everybody on the earth were miserable. But when Jesus came, he brought back hope to the people. The Bible says he was going about doing good. He was going from one place to another, showing people the way of God, working miracles, blind we are seeing. Cripple, we are walking. Deaf and dumb, we are hearing and speaking. Even some cases, people that died, like Lazarus that was dead, when Jesus appeared there, there was hopelessness in the house of Mary and the family of Mary. They were hopeless because their brother that they believe, oh, it's like maybe it's their only son. It's already dead. How are they going to do? Their hope is gone. But Jesus came in and resurrected Lazarus after four days of being buried. He brought back to many, brought back what's called a hope to the land of Israel. And everybody on the face of the earth we are so happy. But for them to hear that the same Jesus arrested and crucified and buried. It simply means that the chapter is a close. Amen. The chapter is what? No more. Chapter is closed. No more hope. That was why most of them were they all, some people denied him. Some ran away. Some even begin to join the enemy to mock him. Some begin to say, oh, uh, this man, I think he says this. I think he's this. I think he's that. They begin to mock him. They begin to reach. Some denied him. Some even went to the back and go and tell the people, I'm sorry oh, for believing in him before. I beg you, pardon me. I know be, I, I'm no more his follower. I am no more his, 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 his believer. But in the process of all of that they were doing, they never knew that God has what is called plan B. I declare the plan B in your life. Let there be plan B in your life. Let there be plan B in your spirit. Let there be plan B in everything we are doing in the name of Jesus. As the hope was gone, the Bible said that on the third day, when most of the disciples, some of them have run away, some of them were thinking, ah, this Jesus, I better go. It'd be like saying they deceived us before. Some people say, ah, he cannot even save himself. How is he going to save us? Some even come to the cross where he was crucified and they say, oh, see, the person that is saving people. Why not save yourself and come down from the cross? The people that were crucified together, one at the left and one at the right, one said, you have been saving people now. Save yourself and also save us. And one said, shut up. This man has not committed any offense. 
we were criminals and our crucifixion is not we, we we are not bothered about it we are paid for what we have done and jesus looked at that when he said today that was said, jesus remember me in your kingdom he said today me and you will be in paradise hallelujah <laughs> hallelujah so when jesus resurrected from the dead it was hope made alive the bible also made it clear that at jesus dead people that were dead were all coming out of their graves because it was power power has hit power it's just like uh, for example now you, you you have what is called a uh, battery charger and you take your battery charger to go and plug in high tension you will hear explosion because that battery the small battery charger cannot carry the voltage heaven came to hell and hell cannot conceive cannot understand cannot comprehend the heaven coming to hell they are quite opposite heaven is in the other side and hell is in the other side but heaven now to enter into hell god jesus is the heaven if you don't know it today jesus is the heaven god is the heaven we are talking about there's no heaven anywhere than jesus amen hallelujah hallelujah he entered it here and every injustice begin to take shape the injustice of oppression the bible said that some were bound all through their life because of the fear of death they were bound and captured and put in the ages the devil arrested them and put them in the hell but jesus coming the people that were in dark they saw the light and the light shine and darkness has to vanish away you cannot understand i said hallelujah so jesus visited to make sure that the right of his people are given to him so if i ask the question why is belief in the resurrection reasonable you now see why it is reasonable you also have cases in the bible like elijah elijah that a woman lost a son and was all oh, hopeless and crying and weeping and elijah said what is the matter the woman said oh god has disgraced me look at my son is dead elijah took the son and took to his own bed stretched the baby there put himself on the baby and this time the son came back to life so we will know and we see that all our labor and all our belief and our trust in god is not miserable we see that we are hopeful we see that we are joyous that our tomorrow is great your tomorrow is great so do not allow afflictions do not allow uh, people and their doings to bring down your faith do not allow people or sickness or poverty or whatever you are seeing on the face of the earth do not allow them to bring you down <laughs> hallelujah do not allow whatever you are facing now to deprive you because we have better hope our hope is too much our hope is great oh hallelujah so we must know that this is a greater hope for us this is a wonderful hope a hope that is equal to no other hope amen some people believe oh yeah uh, because they they believe in christ uh -huh. they have a reward of uh, you know what they, they used to say different things they believe but for the fact that we have the hope and the belief that after this world we are going to be with christ in heaven is the greatest tell your neighbor is the greatest the greatest is that we are going to be with christ in heaven amen the greatest is that our hope is not miserable amen for example you are serving a master your master has money and then he has at least a big shop and warehouse and business moving very well and then the agreement was serve him for so so years or serve him for so so, -so time and then you agree and you are serving your master amen you know something can happen your master will not say to you 
Do you know? Eh? Something can happen. Your earthly master will not say to you. I have seen people that serve their master. Some serve 10 years. Some serve 12 years. Some serve 7 years. Some serve 8. Some serve 5. Some 9. Some more than that. They serve their earthly masters and they were not settled. And some of them have become useless today because they have used all their youthful age and all their time to serve somebody. And after serving, they are cheap to nothing. Amen? Now, if you as a child of God that is serving the Lord, you can never serve the Lord and be miserable. Hallelujah? I said hallelujah. Even right here on earth as we are serving him, there are a lot of blessings that is accorded to us. He gave us power. He gave us authority. And this power is to trade upon serpents and scorpions. Hallelujah. Serpents will not stand on your way. Scorpions will not stand on your way. Enemy will not stand on your way. Because Jesus has done it all. May his name be praised forever in Jesus' name. A songwriter wrote a song and he said, The Lord has done it all, nothing remained. 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 Oh, 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 oh,